Chicago today is the metropolis of the Midwest and the third largest city in the country. Chicago has an esteemed reputation for the hardworking people that inhabit the city. Many of these people are of Irish descent, and Chicago has an extensive history of Irish immigrants. The Irish contributed to the booming growth of the city and shaped Chicago's culture to what it is today. Starting in 1845, Ireland had five famines that ravished the population and sent many immigrants searching for new opportunities overseas. The Irish population in Chicago steadily increased until the Immigration Act of 1924 limited the number of immigrants entering the country. Many of these immigrants saw the construction of the Illinois-Michigan Canal as an opportunity to make a living in the United States. Catholic parishes provided community and contributed to the social mobility of the Irish immigrants. Parishes were common in neighborhoods like Lincoln Park, Lakeview, Hyde Park, Englewood, and Austin. Irish parishes became the focal point of these communities and involved the whole family. Many Irish immigrants took working class jobs in order to provide for their families and their new lives. Irish men took jobs in the Illinois Michigan Canal, the Chicago Stockyards, and as police officers. Many Irish women were employed as nannies, bartenders, and waitresses. As the Irish population in Chicago grew, their contributions to the city increased exponentially. Today, the Irish population of Chicago has expanded all throughout the city, but the majority of the group was initially on the south side. One account recalls the experience of living in Bridgeport in the year 1938. Quote, Peter Fran met me one day and offered to set me up in business. I used to get all my liquor from him. I can remember when there were 600 saloons in Bridgeport all doing well. End quote. Saloons are one example of the businesses that propelled the social mobility of the Irish in Chicago. Another example of Irish influence in Chicago is the implementation of Chicago's democratic machine. The democratic machine stems back to the influence of Richard J. Daley, who was the mayor of Chicago from 1955 to 1976. His son, Richard M. Daley, held the mayor's office from 1989 to 2011. The Daly family traces its roots back to the town of Magurradurnin in County Westmeath. The Daly dynasty influenced the city and guided Chicago through the 20th and beginning of the 21st century. Irish culture flourished in Chicago due to the many Irish communities that kept tradition alive. Francis O'Neill, Chicago's police superintendent from 1901 to 1905, is credited with bringing traditional Irish music to Chicago. O'Neill was born in County Cork in 1848 and emigrated to the United States at the age of 16. In 1873, O'Neill became a, a Chicago policeman. One account in Nicholas Carolyn's book, A Harvest Saved, recalls O'Neill's early heroics in the force. Quote, in O'Neill's first month on the police force, he showed his bravery by tackling an armed burglar. He was shot and carried the bullet and cysted near his spine for the rest of his life. End quote. Due to his heroics and political intelligence, he was promoted to superintendent in 1901. Not only was O'Neill an early example of the Irish presence in Chicago's police department, he also collected a variety of Irish music from his childhood. He would use his position as police superintendent to enforce the law, but also to publicize his classic Irish tunes. Another example of traditional Irish culture in Chicago is the Trinity Dance School. Trinity has brought the art of Irish dance to Chicago and has preserved Irish culture for the younger generations to adopt. There are currently three dance schools in the Chicago area that share the name Trinity. All of them specialize in teaching young women how to build bonds with their peers through traditional Irish dance. A snapshot of Irish culture in Chicago is captured in the song South Side Irish by the Irish Choir. The Irish Choir consists of Tom Black, Terry McEldenly, Tom Walsh, and Pat Bryan. All of these artists are from Chicago, and as the title of the song suggests, have deep roots in Chicago's South Side. The song was published in 1984 and encapsulates life as a South Side Irishman. The song mentions Mayo, Cork, and Donegal, which are all counties in Ireland. The next line mentions Sabina, St. Killians, and St. Gall, which are all large parishes on the South Side. Chicago has been molded by its Irish citizens ever since they arrived in the city in the mid-19th century. The city has since embraced its Irish past by hosting a St. Patrick's Day celebration downtown. St. Patrick's Day in Chicago is unlike any other. On this festive day, Irish taverns are filled all over the city and a large parade travels through the streets. It is a tradition in Chicago to dye the river green in order to celebrate St. Patrick's Day.